Global tourism is returning to pre-pandemic levels, according to the United Nations World Tourism Organization. In 2023, international tourism reached 88% of 2019 levels, with an estimated 1.3 billion international arrivals. Last year, the overall contribution of tourism to the global economy was $3.3 trillion, or 3% of global GDP. Some regions, uh, including the Mediterranean, Europe, the Caribbean, Central America and North Africa, exceeded their 2019 tourism numbers. Uh, Chinese inbound and outbound tourism is expected to pick up due to visa simplification and improved airline capacity. Beijing recently granted visa-free travel to visitors from Switzerland, Ireland, France, Germany, Italy, the Netherlands, Spain and Malaysia. The Spring Festival holiday, of course, uh, set to boost the rebound further. Well, let's talk now to uh, Sandra Carvo, the Director of Market Intelligence and Competitiveness at the United Nations World Tourism Organization. Um, good to see you. Welcome, Sandra. Well, the tourism industry will be opening the champagne after some terrible years. They'll be delighted about this, won't they? Thank you. It's great to be here and share uh, the latest data. Actually, rebound is, has been very strong already in 2023, as you just mentioned. But our first scenarios for next year point that we will not only reach the level of uh, pre-pandemic in 2024, but um, our central forecast is that we can even exceed it by around 2%. There's some big factors at play here. Obviously, lockdowns have gone away. The pandemic has gone away. Um, but China going back on holiday, that's pretty significant, isn't it? Definitely. And I always like to recall that in 2020, in the peak of uh, the pandemic impact, we lost around 70 percent of all international travel, which means we went back to levels of 30 years ago. So just imagine how much this industry has been affected. Um, China is definitely one of the key source markets. Uh, it was the first spender in international tourism pre-pandemic. So the return of, of the Chinese outbound is very much uh, a welcome news, uh, particularly for Asia destinations, naturally. Uh, we've seen that spending uh, is already in a very good uh, positive trend um, at minus 26% uh, uh, around the Q3. So we do expect that to be consolidated uh, with uh, 2024 uh, news on visa, which is very welcome as well. Which European countries are set to uh, benefit from this uh, increase in tourism? Well, we've seen uh, many smaller destinations had uh, impressively good results in 2023. We're talking about Albania, we're talking about Serbia, Andorra. Uh, many of those countries uh, passed by far already their levels of uh, 2020. Uh, 19, uh, sorry, 19. Uh, but then again, uh, in terms of income, which is also very interesting, we see countries like Portugal, Turkey already uh, having their tourism earnings uh, in terms of international travel surpassing pre-pandemic levels. I want to ask you about the Middle East. We were reporting on the uh, crisis in the Middle East earlier on in this program. Um, are we able to say how much the uh, current crises are affecting tourism in the region? Well, actually, the Middle East was the only region uh, globally that already uh, surpassed their levels of pre-pandemic. Uh, international travel to the Middle East increased by 22 percent uh, in 23 as compared to their pre-pandemic levels. Uh, and the data for December continued to have that trend. Actually, also, if we look uh, forward for the bookings in terms of air travel, uh, our partner for Keys that provides us uh, insights in this area, uh, their data shows that in the first uh, half of next year, for the moment, uh, the bookings are pretty positive uh, in comparing to 2023. So um, data shows for the moment that we do see the region continue to grow. Sandra, good to see you. Thanks so much for coming on the program. Sandra Carver.